Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda. Welcome back. We're going to do some paper beads today for our journals, whether they can be for dangles or uh, spine dangles. You know, just I'm going to give it a try anyway. So I have some paper scraps. I have uh, this is a skewer. It's the smallest one that they have. I don't even think I can uh, measure it, but it's it's a skinny one anyway. If you don't have one of these, um, use your pokey tool if it has a or an ice pick even if it has a long enough uh, thing on it. Or I know some people have one of those uh, paper rollers. I have no clue what they're called, but it's where you stick the paper down the slot and then you can turn it and it comes out with this uh, shape. I don't have that, so. Anyway, because of my hand, I don't normally use uh, make dangles or the beads, the paper beads, but <laughs> I got to show you because I was having some fun and they're not perfect and I don't want them to be, but this is what I made. And this one's kind of loose, but it's just with fibers and paper. And uh, about three years ago, I watched Pam. Uh, she's the paper outpost and she had made some, uh, just some paper beads and then she dressed them up and, and stuff. So we're going to, we're going to attempt it anyway. So I just, I just ripped up some, uh, old music page. You can use book paper. You can use magazine pages. I've got an old magazine here. I just love that, uh, they have all the colors in there. You can ink them up. You can... Um, I did have some that I used uh, nail polish on just to sparkle them up, but can't find the nail polish. So anyway, we're going to attempt it. I have some, I have a bunch of bits of jewel, um, you know, beads and stuff. And so, yeah, let's just, let's just have a play. We'll make some paper beads. I cut some in triangles too, so we'll see how that goes. That should be fun. So I put my camera a little closer, so I'm hoping you can see it. But I just try and put it around the stick as tight as possible. And this paper is old, so it's ripping already. And I try to get it as tight as I can. It's not even working. Look at that, the rip spot get off of there. All right, that's not working. Try a different one. Sorry. Put it, I, I try to put it closest to the edge that I can and curl it in. You can, you can't even add glue there because you don't want it glued to the stick. So there we go. So then I just roll it up as tight as I can. And with these sticks, they it does come off pretty easy. And I don't even know how long it is, the paper. I just had it sitting on my desk. But uh, I really like the tiny print and it's from my old newspaper. So at the end, that's where you'll glue. Now my glue's working. It's very hot here today, so so there we go. Just of course you're you're gonna get messy. You'll get glue on you, and then ink, and then it slides right off, and then you have this lovely shape. So let's do a couple of those, and then um, we can have a few to play with, rather than you know one at a time. This one is a little wider. I just kind of cut them. I, it's just over two inches, but I was thinking if for some longer ones, you can do them as small as you want. Have some little tiny mini ones. That'd be really cute. But so there we go. Just once you get it around the first little bit, it should go pretty quick. 
and if it's not straight I mean don't don't stress about it it's all good mine very rarely turn out straight but I just thought this would be a little fun project that we could do oh see I just lost it <laughs> oh dear come on Brenda doesn't always work but there we go maybe if I hold it like I did the first one rather than try to leave it on my desk see it's not going straight but uh, it's all good I don't mind if it's uh, crooked I mean once you get it off your stick you might be able to uh, pack it down because that's definitely not straight but I'm going to cut it off here, tear it off, cut it off, whatever. I'm just going to cut it. And then just do that. Take that little bit off. Tore up there too, so that's okay. It gives it character, right? Just like that. And then just pull it off. So there we go. So then you have a tube. And then there's our other one. This one's a lot tighter, but that's okay. So let's do one of these ones. I just I just took my ruler and put it to the point of the paper and then just tore. So that's going to have a totally different look than uh, the other two, I think, just because it's going to come to a skinny end. Oh, there we go. I'm just putting my fingers at the back along the paper of it so that uh, it will hopefully be tight enough to play with. Oh, it looks like a little cone. <laughs> just add some glue. Oh yeah, well that's an interesting shape, isn't it? So you can glitter these up as well. You know, just use Mod Podge or something and then just roll some of it in the glitter and make it all pretty. We'll work with those three. Just because, you know, I don't want to... could do a whole whack of these and then spend forever trying to do the rest of it. <laughs> so I... I cut this wire. I have two different sizes. One is an 18 and one's a 16 or something, I think. I don't know. My husband has a tool, Tom, that um, he just puts it in to gauge the size of it. But it's 12 inches long because I don't know how long to make it. And I did my very first loop. I couldn't believe it. I actually did it. So we're going to, I don't know where, to, I don't even know which part to start at, but we'll, we'll start at the beads, of course. I'm just going to ink this up a little, and I'm using my ground espresso. And it's probably going to get covered, but it doesn't have to. I mean, you can just have book page and make it pretty, right? So I've got some beads here. These two are, are ink, so let's just do those. And these beads are from Michael's. I've had them for a long time, but as far as I know, they still have them. All right, so let's just let's just play. With little little bits. Um And I don't know, is there a proper order? Do you know? You, you guys probably make beads, and you're probably very good at them. A lot better than me, anyway. You know, just... I'm just going to add a couple beads. We'll make it very simple. We'll just do, do the two beads, just like that. We'll pop this in. 
just like that and then we'll do the same so we need a big bead I do know that both sides should go the same so there's that and then I think I had a purpley bead so excuse me while I fumble through all right so then I have this tool they're round nosed and we'll see if I can do it <laughs> yeah this is uh this is me crafting real time okay so I'm gonna twist it back towards me and then I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times at the neck and then I have a loop at the bottom Ooh, it worked I just can't believe it straighten it out and then I'm just gonna use this wire and I'm going to bring it down and around but if you want to dress this first then do that but I think I'm gonna have this one just as a book page one and I'm just wrapping it around the bottom of it or the base of it I should say and then this can come up and then just get tucked in there and then I'll use these again and I'm just going to push that down so that there's no no sharp edge And there we go that's our that's a very simple one it worked the writing so that's one so let's do another and then I can show you how I did the like this is all a learning curve for me so you professionals out there <laughs> thank you for your patience because I'm probably doing it all wrong and uh, yeah, that can't be helped because, you know, I'm learning. All right, so I'm taking my, my uh, pliers and putting it, well, pretty much to the top. And then I'm going to start. And so what you're doing is you're turning it. You're not turning your wire. You're turning your pliers. And then I'm I'm gonna go around three times. Oops. If it works for me this time. It worked pretty good the first time I tried it. I was very impressed. Okay, so I have I'm over three times. And then I'm just gonna take it out. And then that gives a little circle. All right. So there we go. So let's let's grab some of these little colored ones. And these as well are from Michaels. Excuse me, the light's probably on there. I have an extra light here to hopefully that takes the shadow away from above, but I don't think it's working. Ugh. There we go. Whew, they're hard to open. All right, these are just little colors all right, let's just pick some colors. Pick some random colors. And you can have as much or as little as you want. I don't know that there's any rules to uh, what you use. So I'm just gonna, just gonna grab a few. These ones are all the same size of uh, beads. And I don't know, maybe some of them go through the, uh, sometimes the holes are not the proper size or they're closed up in the middle and then nothing goes through them. This is just a clear one. So that's cute. Let's just do that. 
and we'll grab this one on my ink dauber. You can sure get your desk messy in a hurry. So let's do this and we'll dress this one up a little different. Mm, let's do it this way. Maybe. Sorry if I'm off screen there. Is that good enough there? Yep. All right. Just having, having some fun in the craft room today. Something that's relaxing. Make some pretties. And then a blue. And then a red. But I have cheesecloth, fabric. There's, you know, I'm sure you can, you can uh, use anything for these. You're not limited, that's for sure. So there we go. So that's really cute. So let's try this again. Let's see if I can actually do it again. <laughs> oh, nope. Wrong way. Oh, yeah, I was right. So you turn it and then bring the wire. Over. See, I almost forgot myself. And then I'm going to bring it around a couple of times. Just like that to finish it off. And then you have a loop. And I'm going to leave this there. And then we're just going to dress it. We'll just get this out of the way here. So I have some fibers and I have cheesecloth. I have some of this. And th I'm not sure what this stuff is called. It's not eyelash trim. It's from the dollar store. It is so soft. But let's use some of this. It's just a thin piece of fabric that I had made strips out of. And then I don't know if there's any hard and fast rule of how to do this, but I'm just going to bring it around and then bring it back once more. Just need to get the top there. And I know that wire is hanging there, but it doesn't distract me. So, and then what I like about this fabric is the little uh, strings are hanging down as well. So that's a lot of fun to see that. All right, so I'm gonna snip it off, add a bit of glue, and then we'll glue it on. And it didn't stay, uh, you know, like face up the right way in all of it, but that's okay. Like that's the beauty of these things. You can just make them any way you want. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to try some of this stuff. Let me just cut a piece off. We'll add some of this on the top. Add some glue there. A lot of the fibers are probably going to fall off, but just have to get an end. An end. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and start turning all the way down and then come back again. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, it's interesting anyway. Oh, we don't want to go over the the other thing there. So let me just I don't even know how this stuff will glue, but I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? All right. So then with the, the rest of our wire, let me just 
bring it down. And it might not go all the way down. It might be too short of a piece, but I don't know that that matters at the moment. Oh yeah, it's going all the way down. So that worked out. And then I'll just grab these and the end is just underneath the thing there. So, well, there we go. Now that one is a funky one. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Oh goodness, that one was just, anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? We're all having fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying too because it's just, uh, yeah, I enjoy it. And you don't have to measure, but I do just to, you can kind of gauge it. Oh, wrong ones. doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. Oof, that was a terrible one. There we are. Don't want to have too sharp of an edge. Okay. Well, let's go back to these big guys. I like these ones. All right. So we can do, let's do... Oh, I can't do anything yet. Can I? I need to do a... Uh... See, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so let's uh, do our top loop again. So it's coming around. It's a little crooked. Oop, and I let it go, see? So it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Sorry if I was off. And then I'm just, I just pushed that other one down. And then there's my three. Not as pretty as the first one, but it'll be fine. All right. So then I'm going to, it's a silvery gray colored one. And then I'll do a pink. The end is a bit gibbled. So let me just take off this end here. I don't like it. It's uh, It was all kind of bent in. And then I think this one's the same size, but that's okay. Do they have to climb in size? I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing. So it in here. This is the one that with the uh, was a triangle shape. So we'll do that. And then we got, got fiber stuck to my fingers with the glue. And there's a pink. And then the gray. Or silver whatever color you want it to be all right so there we go and then I'll just and see you don't even need all of that but you know you can use the excess to wrap around which is fun all right so I've just left a little space it doesn't have to be very much because you still want to have room to make your loop right come around and then this is going to come around like this, straighten it up. And then I'm going to wrap it. Oh, this one's probably going to be the best wrap because it's nice and tight. So I just did it around three times. And then you have a loop at the bottom. I'm pretty proud of myself because I have not been able to do that. So oh, I got some cheesecloth here. This is just a piece of um, uh, cotton. It was from a cotton sheet that I had taken apart. Let's just add some glue. 
We'll add this down here first, just like that. Oop, get over there. Just like that. And like I say, you can just leave the book page as your base. You don't have to add anything else to it. Just ink it up and and uh, you're good to go. But let's try some of this stuff. Cheesecloth. Lots of fibers. Fibers are good. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of glue down. And that's just to help grab as it goes over. Right, so here we go. Just wrap it around. Sorry if my head was there. And then come back up again as it gets skinnier and skinnier. <laughs> and then just at the top there. All right. And then just add a bit of glue there. There we go, just like that. Oh, I have a coffee coming. Nowhere to put it. Right there is good. Thanks, love. Okay, so there we have that with the cheesecloth. And with this extra, with our little tinies. I'm going to try something. We'll see if it works. But because we have the pinks and the greens there, I'm just going to add some of these very pale pink. Oh, they do fit. I'm just going to add, I don't know, maybe three, four. We'll do three. One, two and see if I can get it through the hole here. So I have three beads on here and let's, I wonder what'll happen, let's find out. If I bring the wire around, let's just, let's just do this. I'm gonna put one of the beads here, bring this around Oh, one fell off. Put another bead there. Let's pop this one back on. Very tricky. Okay, so there's the one, two, and then bring this one around and maybe pop it there. And then this can come around. Sorry if I was off. Uh, just trying to bring that up again. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's... that off and there we have some little jewels on going around oh that's fun what do you think of that cute okay I'm gonna leave it there today I don't know that my hand can handle too much more but we did three together and uh, how wonderful and you can just do these paper ones you can use calendar, you can use any magazine pages. Like how fun to have all the color on a magazine page. This, this was the one I had done. I, I can't remember if it was a magazine, but then I just brushed on my uh, nail polish. It's see-through nail polish with uh, sprinkles, like sparkles in it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for today. Let me know what you think of this little project. 
and how fun they would be on our journals. Let me grab, let me grab my journal. Look at this one because it's, it's right here. But you just take one and you can hang it. It could be a spine dangle. You could put it on the cover. You can dangle it off of some lace in your journal. You can have a um, like a bookmark, make a fabric bookmark, have it hanging off. So let me just grab a piece of fabric and I can show you. So you have a bookmark, but you can have this as a hanger on it so that it goes over your page as well on the outside and then it shows. So there's a few ideas. But yeah, you can just make all the little pretties that you'd like. Right? So hopefully you enjoyed this. I sure did. It was uh <laughs> it was it was fun anyway. And yeah, so I'm I might make more, I might not, we'll see. But let me know in the comments what you think. And um, please send me the photos if you make some. I'd really love to see them. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah, I appreciate you all so very much. I appreciate all your comments and your posts and your emails. So take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.